Friedman. And I'm Juan Gonzalez. Welcome to all of our listeners and viewers around the country and around the world. Before we get to the uh, Republican presidential debate, Juan, uh, talk about what happened in Congress yesterday around Puerto Rico. Yeah, well, I had a column in today's Daily News about the uh, the deal that was reached uh, on the uh, on spending uh, by the Congress, and uh, it did not include an extension of uh, bankruptcy protection laws to Puerto Rico. Uh, the islands is suffering under a $72 billion deficit uh, and is facing a $1 billion debt payment due in two weeks, on January 1st. And the governor of Puerto Rico, uh, the White House, leaders in Congress were trying to get the uh, Congress to agree uh, to extend bankruptcy protection to allow an orderly restructuring of these debts. Uh, there, were, there were meetings all uh, late Monday night and then into, into yesterday afternoon uh, between three leading Republicans, Chuck Grassley, uh, 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 also uh, Orrin Hatch and Lisa Murkowski, uh, all heads of committees that have to deal with, uh, po with Puerto Rico one way or another, and also Chuck Schumer and Maria Cantwell. But they couldn't reach an agreement. It broke down around noon yesterday, uh, and uh, because Grassley was insisting that he did not want to extend uh, bankruptcy protections to Puerto Rico. The result right now is that there's going to be a default in two weeks of the government of Puerto Rico. It's going to roil the entire municipal bond market of the United States. And as I said in my column, maybe the governor of Puerto Rico should now do uh, the only thing that he, the only weapon that he's got left, which is just say, I'm not going to pay the debt uh, and let Wall Street deal with the consequences starting January 1. But we'll see what happens now over the next two weeks. Well, I encourage people to see your speech that we played on Thanksgiving. Uh, you can go to democracynow.org on Puerto Rico's debt crisis. And of course, we'll continue to follow this. Hi, I'm Amy Goodman. I want to thank you for tuning in to Democracy Now! We are so grateful to our fans and followers for being a part of the daily conversation. By choosing a news source that's committed to the truth, you're carrying the message of independent media, reaching hundreds of thousands of people every day. In these times of war and elections, we need a media not sponsored by corporations that profit from war, but a media that's truly independent, funded by you. Democracy Now! is not paid for by the weapons manufacturers, the insurance industry or the oil, gas, coal or nuclear companies. We don't take advertising or corporate underwriting dollars. That means we rely on your donations to make our daily independent news hour possible. We need your support today to keep bringing you the hard-hitting, in-depth reporting you've come to expect five days a week. Visit democracynow.org, or you can call 888-999-3877. That's 888-999-3877 to make your holiday gift to Democracy Now! today. Thanks so much for sharing Democracy Now! stories all year long.